we have here is we're going to play around with some Brown's gas. You can search it on the internet, take a look on Google. It's very interesting stuff. A lot of people on Maui are already running these on their cars to improve their fuel economy. What I'm proposing is that people start making hydrogen at home and storing it in tanks. This is the process of how you make hydrogen from water with electrolysis. I have a gallon of water here and I've put a half a cup of baking soda in it. That's all that's in there. I've got two stainless steel plates. They're just basically suspended slightly apart from each other. Okay? I run negative and positive power to each side. Not very much power at all. If you zoom in and close here, you're going to see it's going to make some bubbles. See, it's bubbling up over here, and this thing's bubbling. The hydrogen is now coming up. And here we have it over here. These are soap bubbles. You better back up. So it's a tremendous amount of power. Now, the Brown's gas, you don't want to store. You want to make sure that you store pure hydrogen. You don't want to store only Brown's gas because it's oxygen and hydrogen, therefore very volatile. Now, if you look at my hand, it's wet. Because what happened is, is when we ran the electrodes in there, we separated the hydrogen and oxygen into a gas. When it exploded, the hydrogen and oxygen went back together, and now my hand's wet. Therefore, when you run a hydrogen car, your exhaust is water. Same thing when you run a fuel cell car, your exhaust is water. So this is great technology. We can do this. We can do this on Maui. We can make this happen. They're running hydrogen buses in California right now. They're running hydrogen cars in California and Canada right now. Arnold Schwarzenegger drives a hydrogen Hummer. Look it up on YouTube. It's hilarious. But it's really happening.